coming home. <laughs> it's coming home. Big game out here. Wanted to get you all a bit hyped for the Euro final tomorrow night. And what I've done, I've decided to pull out a few football games from my collection, a few uh, more unique ones that you don't often see. So there is, there is the odd common title here, but it's like where it started sort of thing. But yeah, and uh, I'd love for people to do a VR to this and show what football games they own in their collection that are a bit more unique rather than just your FIFAs and Pro Evo and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. Ready for tomorrow night's big game. Who, who would have thought it? 55 years since England have been in a major tournament. In the major tournament final. 55 years. Most people don't even remember it. I think the only person I know who was uh, alive when it happened was uh, Bill. Bet you all clinic. Or maybe two to UK. <laughs> Other than that, we weren't all born yet. Right, so... Yeah, I've got a mixture of football games over multiple systems. And I uh, thought I'd just go through them and show you a few unique ones. So, let's get the most common one out of the way first of all. So, from the Mega Drive days, we have got FIFA International Soccer. So yes, it's a FIFA game, but I weren't going to pull out every FIFA game I own because when you go for a lot of full sets, you get a lot of FIFA games. But I thought I'd go back to where it started. Well, as far as I remember anyway, 1994, when they released FIFA International Soccer on the Mega Drive. Yeah. Moving on from that, going back a little bit further in time, we had FIFA World Cup Italia 90. England should have got to the final that year as well. Who remembers it? Gaza crying. Didn't even qualify for the World Cup after that. That's why I didn't bother pulling out FIFA World Cup 94. <laughs> I thought I'd go for this one. So yeah. Right, I know a lot of you are going to moan because it's not, not the Amiga version. But, Sensible Soccer. Probably known as one of the best football games ever made. Especially if you're back during an 8-bit fan. Or it moved on to 16-bit. So we're getting more into unique ones now. So, back then you had to be a big star to get a, to get a uh, game named after you. And on the Mega Drive, there's probably not a bigger star in the world than Pele. Pele's World Tournament Soccer. There is one that's just called Pele as well. This is the sequel, I believe. So yeah, Pele for Brazil. There you go, something a bit more unique. Moving on to Dino Dini Dino Dini's Soccer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, just a, someone decided to make a football game a little bit different. Soccer for the American market. But then I thought, you know what, there's no point just like getting football games that are just about football. Let's get football related games. So, I managed to find myself over there in my wall. Hurricanes. Yeah, it's a platformer. <laughs> but your weapon is a football. So, it's a little bit different. There, there is a couple of games that are not basically football games in this that are football related. So Hurricanes is definitely one of them. Now moving on to the NES. Bought out a couple of NES games. So the first one you have got Konami game here. So it's Konami Hype Soccer. Or Hyper Soccer, sorry. Yeah, there was wasn't many football games made on the NES. This one's pretty good, but it's not the best. The best is probably this one. Go. So, yeah. I'm sure none of you have played these, but if you have got a NES, get yourself goal. Right. 
Then we're moving on to a Sega Saturn. I can't tell you if this one's any good because I haven't played it. <laughs> but um, yeah, over in my small Sega Saturn collection, there was a copy of Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. I don't know how many of these they made. Obviously, this is 97 version. But I don't remember seeing Sega Worldwide Soccer anywhere else. So I'm guessing... Oh, I'll take that back because uh, the next game I'm going to show, I've just realised, is a Sega Worldwide Soccer. But yeah, I thought, get the Saturn one and show you the Saturn version. But just realising this, we have Sega Worldwide Soccer 2000 on the Dreamcast. So yeah, there you go. I don't even know what games I've got. To be fair, if I showed you every football game I've got, we would have been here all night, so... Just be grateful I'm showing a select, free, select few of them. But there you go. Sega Worldwide Soccer on the Dreamcast. I don't know if there's any others than 2000. I'm assuming 2000 is the only one because it's the only one I can think of. But who knows? I'll move stuff around a bit. Let's, let's get some more beer for England. Let's do it for England. England. It always hit you and hurt you. Defender, no time. <laughs> a little bit of rap there. That's what uh, the boys in the WhatsApp group wanted me to do. <laughs> I ain't doing the whole song for you. So, sticking with a Dreamcast, if you've got a Dreamcast and you want a football game, this is probably the one to get. Virtua Striker 2, or version 2000, whatever you want to call it. This one is awesome. And if you put certain cheats in, you can get this a little bit better. You can play as some different teams and uh, maybe some aliens. And the last up for the GameCube is a game, uh, for the Dreamcast, it's a game I haven't played this yet, I've only just picked it up. You'd have seen it in yesterday's pickups video. And that is Giant Killers. Or GK Giant Killers. See, so, yeah, I don't really know much about this. It looks more like a management game than actually a football game. Become a hands on manager. There you go. So, people rave about this game. So, experience the first football management game on the Dreamcast. So yeah, there you go, giant killers. Right, then we've got some PS1 games. So I'm, I'm expecting Jim Corbana to have all of these. One I know he's got now. He was very upset. <laughs> he knows what's coming now. But sticking with the more unique games, we have got the FA Premier League Stars 2001. I don't know if this is still going or not. I haven't seen it around other than this version. Did they do any more years other than 2001? Were they planning on doing more than more than 2001 and just got stuck with 2001? I don't know. I've not researched any football games, so I don't know if there's any more. I'm sure Jim with his list will be able to tell us how many Premier League Stars games there are. I'm assuming it's just this one. Then, with the final, England versus Italy coming up. If this man was there to lead us there. At his prime, I'm sure we'd have no problem. Although he didn't do it when he was around in his prime, so maybe not. But it is David Beckham's. David Beckham's soccer. For the PlayStation 1. Made by Rage. And yet they could they could have just got a better photo for the front, I don't know, just literally half his head. <laughs> but yeah, that's David Beckham. You can you can be him. You can be David Beckham. There you go. Right, this was a series that I thought was gonna take off. And only made it as far as PlayStation 2, I believe. And that is this is football. I thought this was going to be the one to compete with your Pro Evos and your 
FIFAs and whatever else. But, nope. And then, we've got another platformer. We've got Soccer Kid. Again, his weapon is a football. And he's called Soccer Kid and he's dressed up in his team's outfit with football boots on. So surely, this is classed as a football game. Is there actually a football game out there that Eddie wants to own? There you go. A football game. Fast paced, fast paced platform adventure made by Teddy Games. There you go. Right, moving on to GameCube. We have got one which is more of a wrestling match than a football match, but or wrestling game than a football game. We have got Sega Soccer Slam. Yes, you get to be these big beefy dudes. And instead of just trying to score, you get to beat people up as well. So yeah, there you go. Something a bit different for you. Right, then we're going back to our normal football style game. We have got Disney Sports Football. Disney jumping in on the football act. They wanted a piece of that sports action. They wanted some of that FIFA money. They wanted it all. And last on the GameCube, the man himself had to get involved. Sony Mario Smash Football. Good old Mario. This may not be the only Mario game that we own. Mario football game. But yeah, this this one's a proper football game, but you build up your powers to get power shots and stuff. And it's a bit more fun. But there's a better one. There, there, is, there is a better Mario football game, which we will get onto now. Well, I say now, we've got one first. So first of all, for the Wii, we have got Academy of Champions Football. Yeah, something a bit different. Little kiddies football game. It's even got even got Pele in it. There you go, it weren't just in the in the Mega Drive games. <laughs> and then probably one of the best football games you're ever gonna play. <laughs> If you like to have fun with your mates and just have a laugh and the kick around and stuff. Mario Strikers Charged Football. Yeah, this is great fun. Hard as nails until you figure out what you actually got to do. Because once you build up them power and you get them powerful shots, it doesn't even matter if they got a goalkeeper in goal. That is a quality game if you don't own it. Right, PlayStation 2. We've got the almighty FIFA, but it's changed this time. They're on the street. It's FIFA Street. So yeah, have you ever seen them three-on-three -three matches or four-on-four -four matches where they're in the street playing, having a kick around? This is it. There you go. Just get, get in the cage and have a little kick around. Four-on-four, three-on-three, whatever you want to play. And a good laugh. Now, here's one you don't see very often. This is XS Junior. XS Junior League Soccer. So, yeah. Play to win. No ref. Five player teams. Fast paced game. Winner's rule. So, it's just, just a, when you're as kids and used to go over the park and just have a kick around. That's what this is. And then, we've got one that's not a football game. But it's got soccer in the title. It's Animal Soccer World. It's solely based on football. It's about winning a big game. But when I show you the back, it's more of like a puzzle game. <laughs> but the objective is, where is it? The preparation for the most exciting happening of the year are well on their way. The biggest football match of all time is going to start. FC Wild Dogs has been challenged by SV Lion Rocks. There you go. So 
So the wild dogs versus the lion rocks. But I don't know where this actual game is taking place. Maybe up here they're just about to start. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. There, there is a goal in there. So that could be after you've done all the puzzles you get to play. Right. And three games left for you. All on the Xbox 360. I didn't want to get no modern stuff out. Modern stuff's mainly all FIFAs and stuff like that. So you don't want to see that. But here's a bit of a spin-off for you. We've got Euro... Or UEFA Euro 2008. So yeah, we've had the World Cups, but now we've got the Euros. So I think I only own a couple of these. They've done Road to the World Cups as well. But with the Euros now, they normally just chuck it on with the FIFA. They don't normally bring out their own separate game mode no more because they want your money from Ultimate Team, so they chuck it all on there. So this this is quite a unique title to get an actual... Euro one. They do do Champions League versions as well. I haven't got any at the moment. But that's saying a bit different. And then we've got a bit of Stevie G here. Pure football. So again, back, back to your typical football games. A bit of pure football. Hard but fair. And the last one is saying a bit different. It's a Kinect game. I believe it's the only football game that's on Kinect. Well, I say football game, it's a compilation game. There may be others, someone will be able to tell me. But this is Big League Sports, and as you can see at the top there, it's got soccer, because you can't say football, because it's got American football on it. So it starts with football, and then says soccer. But yep, it has got football on there. So... Yes, there you go. That is my little unique football games. Now I've got to go and put them all away. <laughs> it took me ages to find them all. But yeah, do do make a video. Show me show me what games you've got. There's plenty of different ones out there. But yeah, please do. Do get a video out. And as always, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And bye for now. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, England.